Well, Julie, here we are on the mine hunting trail once again. We're off again in the desert. We had a wonderful trip through Wonder Valley. <laughs> Always interesting. I wasn't kidding when I said it's starting to climb. No sooner did I say that than here we go. It's getting pretty rough. We ditched the Jeep again. The road's pretty nice right here, but there are some rough spots. It's just as easy to hike as it is to drive the Jeep over it. Plus, it's better exercise. There's the road we've been coming up. There's a wall along that whole side there. And this is just behind us. This is the way we're headed. It's flattened out a little bit now, which is nice. Here's an outcropping of what the locals call Desert Jade. It's a green rock. It's not real common out here. Uh, kind of neat though. When you come around the corner, this is what you see. Pretty decent waste rock pile behind Julie there. Or ahead of her, I guess. Some lumber that's down. I don't know if it was a a head frame or an ore bin or something else. I haven't been close enough to find out yet. I don't know if this is a shaft or a horizontal adit. So let's go a little closer and see what we can find out. Well here I'm on top of this timber load. It looks like this might have been a, an ore bin. Here is the waste pile. It almost looks like there were some trestle parts uh, leading from the end of the waste pile over to this ore bin because of the the shape of them. It almost looks like it would have held a uh, held a little rail line coming over this way. Okay, let's go a little higher up and see what we have here. There's a little shaft here of some sort. I don't know what it was. Not very deep. I believe there is a portal over that way. Look at all the vein material that's out here. Looks like people have been picking through it. Here we go into the mine. There's a large waste pile out here, but there are also two shafts, so I don't know where most of the work came from. Whether well, it was the shafts or this. There's a nice contact zone here. You can see the yeah, this is straight up. I see a chute. And you can look up there. Oh, there's an open stope. Cool. Quite a few stalls. And a nice open stope that funnels down into this chute. There's a shaft to the right here. Okay. Shaft on the right. It looks like it's open to the surface, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm, that goes down there. Yeah, not terribly far. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a level down there. Working level. All the mines in this area are very solid. They don't use a lot of timbering. 
and this one is no exception. Changing colors a little bit here, a little more red. Do we have an intersection? Yeah. With some shelving or something. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. A little workshelf there. That's to the right. Let's go forward up. Huh? Oh, just a short drift to the left. Let's go straight and we'll take the right later and then we come back. 250 feet in, and it looks like somebody's name there. Maybe Frank? This one's got Iris 1934. Millie was here. Iris 1934. July 4th? some of the vein that you can still see that's left over here now. There's a really nice looking, lot of, like I said earlier, a lot of uh, beautiful ore outside that didn't get taken away. This is 300 feet in, according to the wall. More graffiti. What's this little guy? Looks like a ladybug. Looks like load counts. Of graffiti back there. I'll have to take some stills of that stuff. Oh boy. This is kind of a halfway decent ladder on it. You can see the bottom. This is looking up into a stove. There's a little cross cut here, not very long, about 30 feet. This had a, uh, a hoist here of some sort. You can see the, see the uh, mount for it there. So this shaft looks like it goes down Oh, I'm guessing a hundred feet. It's pretty much straight down until the very bottom, then it it turns a little bit more angled. Uh, and it's the upside down type ladders that you would haul a skip up on. The rungs are away from the the frame. Here's the vein again. So here's a chute coming in from above. It's plugged solid. And it's blocked on that side so I can't see around it. And it's a... It's a nice dope. Goes pretty much straight up. Looks like there used to be a ladder right here where I'm standing alongside of this shaft. 
A lot of graffiti in here. There's some load counts. So it looks like this was worked in the 30s. At least the ones we can read. We're 400 feet in according to the wall here. And there's June 18th, 1939. There's another stove going straight up. Thirty and thirty-six. A little happy face. Oh, there was still track going back here. You can see the time marks. We're four hundred and fifty feet in. Nice clean mine in it. Five hundred feet. JL something pure. And Tom, I was here. <laughs> this looks a little precarious, isn't it? A little bit. Can go ahead and Boy, there's a big piece that has come down. And this looks to be the face of it. So Tom's going to make the initial descent down this ladder. Maybe. Maybe. It's pretty straight up and down and a long way down. If it doesn't come loose, we should be okay. Off by this oh. brace. Okay. And that's going to happen every so often. Where these cross braces are, there's no, you can't get your foot in there. Otherwise, it feels pretty solid so far. Good. It's a little bit loose down here. 
Things you don't want to hear on a ladder. Whoa. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the ladder here. And we got just a little ways to go. Looks like there's going to be a drift off to the left. So let's check out this drift. I don't want to imagine it's real huge. comes to a split here. That's to the left. That's straight. It looks like it stops up here not too far. There's this vein again up above us. There's the vein over there. And this is the face of this side of it. Okay, here I am back at the split. Let's take the left. Here's the contact zone, this big smooth surface. So this is the left version further on. This looks like it gets wet in here. I wonder where that would be coming from. It's curving to the right. There's your big contact zones again. And it just pinches down as a there's a sheer wall on each side and then it just pinches down back there so kind of neat let's go make our way back up the ladder interesting little drift though worth climbing the ladders for everything's standing on an angle as you can see there. Interesting, I'm gonna come back up. Okay. He just explored some of that level down there and now he's coming back up the ladder. That was a neat little drift down there. Not huge, but pretty cool. Good. I'm glad the ladder held out. Me too. It's a little shaky towards the bottom. Ah. Good job. Whew. Okay, let's work our way back to the uh, branching drift that we skipped on the way in. I think it should be going to the left. And here we are already. Okay, taking the left, there's a little shelf here. I don't know if this is just a little workstation or... All right, a little danger sign here. I'm not sure what it is for. Yeah, 
It looks like this is just going to be a short cross cut. Maybe a hundred feet or so. Lots of graffiti. Oh yeah. Yeah, this mine is full of graffiti. Alright, we're heading back out, hiking down the road and see what else we can find for today. Okay, we're back to the portal. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on our next adventure. See ya!